you know who you are. <laughs> we are going to do an experiment. We are going to test a myth. And that myth is, can you over lubricate an AR-15? Let's find out. I'd say that was filled. Let's uh, address the upper here. Now with the upper, I'm not gonna feel like the bore or anything like that. Okay, you think that's over lubricated? Okay, first of all, we see that everything that <laughs> didn't want to be in there has already removed itself from the, the equation. That's one of my major points here. But let's put the rest of this on something else here. Pack it in there. Let's close her up and find out how she runs. <laughs> that feels really good, actually. Butter smooth. Okay, no problems. Let's see what happens in a live fire situation. Here we go. I filled the entire receiver and the bolt carrier and everything with grease. I wanted to take Larry Vickers' a proof of concept video one step further. He put his rifle, submerged it completely in oil. This is completely in grease. 150 grain, I don't know what they are, but they're uh, lead nosed and I have them seated to the full length of the magazine. So this should be where it experiences problems, if it's going to. Lock back. Good to go. IMI Gen 1 magazine. Same projectiles. Same load. Lock back. This is going to be a mixture of ammunition. The first 10 or so rounds are going to be a Hornady VMAX seated very long. And uh, the rest of them are going to be Barnes, 120 grain, all copper rounds. I kind of hate to shoot these in this kind of setting because they loaded these initially for like super accuracy. But I want to test them out in this magazine and uh, prove some people wrong. <laughs> The charging handle popped over for the vibration. I don't see any issues yet. I have no worry about over lubrication. I feel like I proved my point. I haven't had a single malfunction because of over, over lubrication. And I'll open this up in a little bit, but you'll be able to see that everything that was too much is gonna go to where there is not too much. It's just gonna push it out of the way and put it somewhere else. I personally would rather have uh, particulate and debris and whatever suspended in a grease somewhere away from the fire control group or just somewhere in a different part of the receiver than have, you know, if you're worried about dirt and, and rocks getting in your receiver, you know, they're gonna be bouncing around in your gun if there's no grease to capture it, right? Like, um, or too much oil or whatever. I'm gonna say there is no such thing as over lubrication, at least on this gun here. Maybe just mine. <laughs> Let's do some, a uh, few more rounds and I'm gonna bust another myth here. First I'm going to shoot whatever's left in this magazine, this is an IMI Gen 1, and then after that I'm going to do the rest of my, my last magazine of the ammunition I know it's going to run in here, and I'm going to run this gun without gas rings, no gas rings at all. So just to prove that this thing is functioning correctly, let's do that. Lock back. Now, let's open this bad boy up and see what it looks like. This is what you're looking at there. I haven't touched anything, I haven't cleaned it out. Here's the bolt carrier. Doesn't look that bad, right? Those are the gas rings. So in about three, two, one, boom. No gas rings. Carrier. Putting it together right in front of you. So you know I'm not lying here. Shh. 
shit. Still in my hand. It's dirt. The firing pin. Yep. Get in there. Okay. A little bit loose in there. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Here goes my charging handle. Still in the frame. I don't know if it went out of frame, but trust me if it did. I got a little bit of dirt in the charging handle. No big, big. Here we go. <laughs> Still in frame. 30 rounds. I'm going to hold a little bit far away just in case it's particulate. Nothing. Oh! <laughs> the recoil knocked my magnifier off. But as you can see, the test went fine. Myth busted! Don't worry about your damn gas rings if they're too worn. Have a good day. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in a future video. Can't say that my phone's as durable as my AR-15.